Big Boy's Big Neighborhood. Boy. Man, we've been waiting on this one. Yeah, we have. Hey, dude, look at Monica. She all giddy over here. I know. You know I what I'm saying? We're on it. She all giddy over here. <laughs> I can't tell you how many times this man wanted to come to the neighborhood, and I turned him down. What? Mm -hmm. Why'd you turn him like, down, man, babe? you know me. You know what uh -huh. I'm saying? I was like, man, I want to thug up in here. What are you going to do up in here? You know what I'm saying? So I finally dropped my guard. Okay. And we let you in the neighborhood. Man, Hello. no, young thug in the neighborhood, man. Welcome to the neighborhood, bro. Thank y'all for having me. We've been yeah, waiting man. on this We're one. We're so excited. You know, and because you know what you were here, Thugger, you were here. Oh man, he don't really do interviews. He don't really do interviews. Was that by choice and by design that you pulled back just a little bit? Because most interviewers ain't they ain't like you. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You gonna keep it, G? Yeah, yeah, mm -hmm. hell yeah. Even if you ask questions like the world want to know, it's cool. But you ain't gonna ask no shit about no goddamn open case. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. All right. Come on now, man. You got an open <laughs> fucking case, man. Yeah. And, and my, my thing is this, bro. I don't want you in court, and I damn sure don't want to be in court with you. No subpoenas you, for you, big boy. Yeah, man. Hell no, because no, nah, brother. Yeah, and, and plus, man, you got to be cut from a different cloth to understand. Yes. There's a, diff there's a different way to talk. You know what I'm saying? But first off, we got to say welcome, and uh, welcome. it's a celebration going yeah, on. Thank you so much. You know what I'm saying? So much Get fun. Yes. Why is the album title so much fun? Are we there? Yeah. <laughs> The album is called So Much Fun because goddamn, it was I ain't really do too much. I ain't want to do too much thinking on it. Yeah. yeah. I wanted it I wanted it to just be fun. I wanted it to be out by the summer for my fans to enjoy it. I want you to like if you're not having fun, don't play this album. If you're I not in the that. car on the way to Coachella, don't play the album. <laughs> so so this is more this is more <clears throat> kind of kind of turn up for us as well, which which is a good lane for you. But even when you think about the album, you got it on there, but there's also there's a lot of different textures as well. You know what I'm saying, and you, yes. do, and you and there is a lot that that's covered. So even though we are going to to the club, there's still there's still a lot of substance in there as well. Yeah, it's but a, that's it's like, a lot of funds. Yeah, yeah, it's a whole lot of different type of funds. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> all all the songs on there, they like fun songs, but all of them different type of funds. Now, what's the difference between so much fun the album and when you say mixtape? Because even mixtapes, albums, you know what I'm saying, like. The difference is the, the goddamn label. <laughs> right, right, right. <laughs> they got to count it. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> they be so happy when they hear the mixtape word. Yeah, oh, okay, mm. I got you. The happiest. Do you prefer mixtapes? I prefer mixtapes. And Because when you, say, when you say the word album, motherfuckers like, you know, people like. It's a different, we expect different. Mm -hmm. If they be like, okay, they're about to drop an album. It's like, okay, I don't want to hear no club music, no fun music. Mm. I don't want to hear none of that. So I hate the word album. Right. Even though all my music is serious, I take my time yeah. with everything. Yeah, the quality was there. You look at you. I never. Re I was like debut album, nah. Yeah. And then you look back, you're like, shit, you're right. Yeah, it was. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> now, let me ask you this: when when you went to go do this album, did you ever think about out of all the songs you put on there, you didn't put my name in there one time <laughs> as an homage, a shout out, you know what I'm saying? So are you going to re-strip the album or is the album just what it is right now? Hey, I'm actually re-stripping it for real though. What? See what I'm saying? Really? Yeah, because it, it was um, it was a um, feature with Machine Gun Kelly that's mm -hmm. supposed to be been on there. Mm -hmm. um, why it didn't make it? Or why did, why it come out without it? Because he came and did the verse, he came and did his his verse like probably like four or five, probably like six days ago now. Mm -hmm. Okay. But the album was already turned in. But my engineer, he almost got fired. Yes, he, sir. Because because he he already had turned the album in, but it's like nigga, he did he came and did a verse, so you supposed to send that in too. It just slipped his mind. He was just thinking like, oh damn, I already sent everything. So when the album, this shit, it it literally came out. I'm listening to it like, yo, what it, what's machine? Why this shit don't say machine gun Kelly? They like machine gun Kelly, my A and R G off. He like machine gun Kelly. I'm like. Nigga, you don't know he on the song. Like that song oh, wow. is done. Yeah, he don't even know. He done turned the album in. He listened to it. He done mastered it. He don't even know that this man got a verse on the song. So I'm like, nigga, take the whole album down. He like, yo, you gonna nah, you can't the take the whole one down. <laughs> but it's like, I'm just one of those type of guys. Like, you know what I'm saying? I already had made a right. Yeah, it's like I made a promise. It's, I don't care about losing. I don't care about losing sales. It's not that. It's not that serious to me. I like the work. I like the body of work. I don't care about the sales. So the track is still on the album, but it's just missing Machine Gun Kelly, or the track entirely didn't make it on. No, the, the track is on the album. Okay, which but, one? Um, X. Okay. Um, he on it now though. Okay. They, um, mm -hmm. they took it down and got it um and got the right one on now. It's crazy how we could do that now. It's crazy. You know what I'm saying? How you can just pull it down, go back in. stream it right back up. <laughs> Man, is it different now that there's a whole lot of attention that's being paid to you? Does does it make recording the recording process or expectations different now? Uh, 
I don't know. I always looked at myself like the biggest in the world, though, but not on no, not on no, on a very, on a very humble scale. Right. I always looked at myself like I'm bigger than every anybody in the world. I, mm. People can't think like me. People got people to think for them. Mm-hmm. Mm. I think for people. Hey, Amen. <laughs> and, and I did see the No Jumper interview, and I, I talked with Adam. He, I was in London at the same time. And he was like, yeah, he was like, man, he said I got he said I got thug yesterday. And I was like, damn. Because you know, you like you down there unicorn yeah, to right. a lot of us. You know what I'm saying? But I remember you said, even when he asked you about the Kanye running for president, and the way that you answered that was like, I'm a thinker. You know what I'm saying? You was like Kanye, and but they took the clickbait and you know, they made it sound different. But you was like <laughs> Kanye would jump out without thinking. Do you do you really think about Without overthinking, but think about what those what those next moves are always. Every like sometimes it I hurt myself. Sometimes yeah. it hurts me. Like if I when I leave out of your door, when I get on your elevator, I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna press the down button on the elevator. When the elevator open, I'm a bad back. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna look at the wall and see if I can see a body part on the other side of the elevator. Like it's just I done yeah. did it so much. It's just like, but it hurts sometimes because it's like people will be like, yo yo, come on, let's go, we gotta go. Right. And I'll be like, oh shit, I'm just. Do you sleep well? No. Yeah. And what do you, are you always firing off things? Like always thinking? Always. I need you as my roommate. <laughs> <laughs> I'm up or I'm up all night. Somebody chat with. I don't smoke. I was just telling the thug, I was like, man, I don't smoke. And the thing you said to me was, I have to. You gotta smoke because it's just it's it's an experience that you want to experience. <laughs> you might you got your you gotta tell your kids about this, like, yo, don't smoke. They're gonna be like, Why? Oh, and then my I gotta dad, tell like, give me a real reason why I can't smoke. Oh, I'm going to mm. smoke. Right. What's a real That's reason, a though, that big boy should smoke besides the experience? What because type of experience? You see, you already got me on this little styrofoam cup hey. right here. You know what I'm saying? It keep, your ice, it keep the ice cool. Mm. If mm. the ice don't melt, you can put ice in it and sit it out for three hours. It's not going to be one drip of water. I don't even want to know what's in your cup, though. No, this, this lemonade is no drugs. I don't know, bro. Let it's me lemonade. see. Don't think lemonade. Taste it. If little, you get naked, then we gonna know. No, I'm not gonna tell you. Know what I'm you you, you, <laughs> you get know. naked up in here, we gonna know. <laughs> yeah, yeah, man. He, hey, uh-uh. hey, man. He look. I can see his eyes dance behind the shades. Like, man, she drink that. We <laughs> <on. laughs> young thug. You tweeted out that you're gonna be running for president 2024 with Gunna as the yeah. vice. <laughs> what would you change in this country if you did become president? <clears throat> I'll make it. Um, I'll change like. I'll change like. The status of billionaires. Mm. I probably I probably give like a a, <clears throat> a person that's gonna that's gonna proceed to making a billion or a person a person that's close to making a billion. I'm a, I'll, I'll make it to where it's like you have to endorse this money somewhere. You have to get this money to the poor. You have to give some. Mm. You, you got to give some of it away. Yes, or we got them taking this shit away. Damn, we we gonna take it away. We gonna freeze it. However, however you want to do it. If I'm the president, it's like I'm gonna win. I'm gonna do it. I do it for the poor. I don't do it for the rich. I heard mm. that. So you would take money from Kylie Jenner. She just became a billionaire. I don't got. I don't think I have to take money from. I think I'm very cool with her husband. And it's, right. It's like, <laughs> I'll be like, bro. I know that you said husband. Do you know something we don't know? That what they married? Oh, you said I husband? like that. Yeah. See how you doing it? I mean, yeah. You're on that. Got, you're on that Jedi mind trick stuff. <laughs> I got you. They got. Yeah. They got kid. They got a. They got a, a kid. It's, it's rings so involved. It's like like at this point, it's. Ma- Try to talk to her. You'll see so, yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, get that game out of here. <laughs> hey, man, what? You got six kids. What kind of dad are you? Like, do your kids know who daddy is? Like, damn, like. A fucking car. You want to call him? Yeah, <laughs> because when my kids turned the corner and they knew, like, dad can get them in the front row, mm. that, like, it's got to be. How, for, for one, you got damn near a Brady bunch. You got three and three, right? Yes. How old are your kids? Can you name them? In, can you name their ages in seven seconds? You ready? Can, no. Hell, no. <laughs> I can name in, in six seconds. Well, go ahead. Now. How old are the, are the babies? 11, 9, oh, yeah. 8, 8. One about to be 9. Damn. And on November the 3rd. And one on 5 and the other on 6. Oh, I see why you don't Aww. sleep. You are fucking all night. <laughs> no, 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 no. But my, young, my youngest kid, 5. Oh, yeah. Oh, okay. Okay. So you. Because it's fu- been a while. Years ago, you were doing it all night. All right. So what kind of dad are you? Are you strict? Hell, nah, nah. <laughs> Man, they run over me. <laughs> no. Yeah. Except my son, the oldest, my oldest kid. That nigga Buster, bro. Oh, really? Right. Oh. Buster by our stand, like what Buster mean to everybody? Nah, not like. Oh, okay. Lane. Okay, he was born, yeah. He, I had him before I was a superstar. I had him when I was in the street, so he like. 
Oh, yeah. He's the one that's down earth. He knows. Yeah, he, he comes from that cloth. Yeah. Yes. He turf. He the only one like this. Really, though? The only are, yes. are the other ones, are they privileged? No. Which the... They get what they want, Slime. They yeah, they yeah, want. exactly. I hustle for this. Some parents get some parents get money. Like, if you had kids before you got money, you you obviously hustled for your kids. Right. Mm-hmm. Some people forget that. Some people get so much money and they and they and they start reading so much to the point where they forget it. Now it's now it's like goddamn nigga, you making your kid work, but it's like nigga, you got the money so your kid didn't have to work. You just right. forgot. Right. You done read too much now. So so <laughs> so do you take care of your kids up until a t- certain point? Like like. The reason why I'm doing this much is so you don't have to do yes. that much. You ain't got to do nothing. I like I made it's a, it's an oath with me. I made it an oath. Like my kids ain't gonna have to do nothing. My kids gonna be thirty years old and I'm getting what they want. Damn, you gonna be grown. Beautiful. You can do whatever you feel, but you are gonna always get whatever you want from me. This is the 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 number one reason I did this. The number one I reason I made that, this bro. money. The number one reason. Hey okay. man, you really no. just really opened me up to something because I was really about to cut my kids off when they got eighteen. <laughs> like yo, y'all nigga grown yeah, now. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but you know what it is too, though, man. Like we, we grew up. I grew up, you know, homeless. It's seven of us. Mom, single parent. So I know about you know hell. Sharing. You know about not eating and sharing with your family. Lights being cut off. No hot water. All that. So now with my babies, I'm like, man, you. I never want you to experience that. You know what I'm saying? I did it. And people are like, oh, they got to have texture. Like, but not that texture. You know what I'm saying? Not, yeah. they, they don't have to go through the same thing. No. You know what I'm saying? They got to so, they gotta understand life because it's like, you don't want them to be like, with, you know what I'm saying? Her daughter, you don't want them to be like, to the point where they, I felt like Whitney Houston's daughter was like, she was just so Beverly Hills to the point where she didn't understand like, Right. Simple. So you yeah. want to say, give them something, give them you texture, got, give them enough. Yes, but not, got not no. You can't get nothing from it. You got to work texture. It's like, nah. It's just like you let them see, the you let them see the real you. You tell them about yeah. you. Easy you call. No, for, no. You, are, are you open with with your kids yes. about past and everything? Yes. My son, I, I used to. I'm like a rock star. I used to wear nail polish. My I had to stop wearing it because of my son. Why? Because he wanted to have nail polish, and, and his mom was like. Man, you can't wear nails. You can't wear nails, Pilot. She's like, my daddy did it. Mm. So he really wanted to do, wanted to do it. That, yeah. that slowed my career down a lot. Damn. My, I had to step out of the rock star image. Mm. But it's like I didn't explain every single thing to him. He understand. But what about, okay, you pulled your kids out. What about our kids <laughs> that you still got in there that's wearing all this damn polish? You know, uh, uh, what suppose. about our kids that want to be you? But I, I stopped doing it. Yeah. So if you want to be me, you're going to stop doing it. Okay. Because right. <laughs> I stopped. Stop. Stop. I really stopped. Just watch. Makes sense. And, and, and that was kind of immediate because immediate. of the kids? Yes, immediately. I had, What about if, if whatever's in that cup, the lemonade in your cup? Yeah. How do you keep your kids from having like lemonade in their cup? Or they know like by having this beautiful smell that you walked in with. Mm-hmm. It's, two, it's two fridges. They know they side of the fridge. My fridge <laughs> got a lock on it. Gotcha. <laughs> so that, I don't ever got to worry about that. I ain't, I ain't clumsy at all. Yeah. <laughs> um, I love when you and Gunna get together. I really do love that. And what was it about Gunna that made you want to work with him? And so often, too, he's featured on two songs on So Much Fun. That's my brother. Like mm-hmm. he signed to me, but it's like it's not even about a signature. Mm-hmm. It's, it, this this my real brother. It's my real little brother. I took him in. We had a big homie named True. Um, rest easy, True. We got killed a few years ago, but um, we, he he was my he was I got a, I used to have a gambling problem. Mm-hmm. He was my gambling buddy. His name True. He gambled his life away. Damn. And he he brought Gunner to me, like, hey, I want you to make, I want you to, to take them under your wing and like these my little boys. I really raised them. Take them under your wings, make sure they okay. And he ended up passing, so I just had to really, you know what I'm saying, mm-hmm. live up to what he told me to do. But he, but Gunna been around me like six, seven years. He, mm-hmm. he, he in some of my old videos, y'all won't even know it's him. <laughs> like just, I'm just shooting videos. So that, he was that, always that there. relationship isn't artist, label, well, owner. That's yeah. I never received one dollar from him. Damn, not one dollar. Ask him. Bring him in. <laughs> I, haven't, I haven't received a dollar from him. Where he at? He signed to me. But where he at? <laughs> Um, he's, you said ask him. You know, <laughs> <laughs> hey, everything he going to his phone, man. Yeah. Hey, Every, all the answers but are that, in the phone. <laughs> yeah, like the, What's it like when you guys phones. are in the studio together? It's just like, it's it's basically like, it's, it's the same thing it'll be with, with his artists. It's like, sometimes, some, we so much of brothers, sometimes we'll, we'll step out of the brother lane and turn into artists. Sometimes mm-hmm. we'll be like, all right, man, let's let's lock in today. Let's make, let's make uh, five songs. Mm-hmm. Instead of just sitting in the studio. And just 
chilling around each other and just like, cause we don't be around each other that much no more. He used to, he wasn't, before he um, blew up being a, a superstar rapper, he used, he used to just be around me a lot every day, every day, he around me every day. So that's how we really got the bug. He was around me every day for like five years. Then he ended up ended up um, blowing up. Mm. So sometimes we'll turn into rappers. Sometimes we do it to have fun. Like, mm -hmm. all right, let's go to the studio. Let's lock in. Let's make music. So we're gonna go straight to the studio and play beats, make music. And it's I think it's it's one of the best feelings ever because it's mm -hmm. like okay, I I really made this guy a millionaire. Mm -hmm. Like literally, I really made him a millionaire. So it's really kind of like special. It feels so good. I mean, I, I like to see him work. I like to sit back and watch him mm -hmm. now because it's like okay, the whole wide world love this guy. They love him. Now it's like, I don't even understand the reason why they love him because he's my real brother. <laughs> right, yeah. <laughs> so sometimes I step back and film him like, what is with it? my eyes like, what the hell? Right, yeah. That track yeah. Hot is so, yes. oh my gosh, it's so good. Thank hot, you. I love it. It's, Some he tried to, it was his song actually. <laughs> was yeah. it? You took it? We was working one night. <laughs> I felt it. It's mine. Hey, that, that's when the boss kick in. Like, mm. yes, I yeah, yeah. It's business. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's business now. Hold on. Yeah, easy call. <laughs> Someone else that is on the album, actually executive producing the album, J. Cole. Mm -hmm. How does that relationship come together with J. Cole and Young Thug? Um, He had, I met him a long time ago, but through the grapevine, like, I had heard that he liked my music. Mm -hmm. So he ended up going on tour. I went on tour with him, and we just was with each other every day. It's like, he just, he one of those guys, he like, he don't want to rub nobody the wrong way. He don't want to, so he won't, he won't be around. He'll rather, he'll rather go, like the first week of the tour, he going to go on the stage. He going to go straight, straight home. He had his kid, he had his, he used to have his kid and his wife and stuff with him. So he going to, he going to, he going to go on the stage and go back to his room or go home, leave. So it really was me just. You know, my mom got 11 kids. Yeah. yeah. My mom had 11 kids. Where do you fall at in, in 11? I'm in the end. Damn. Oh, baby. Are you the one to take care of everybody? Of course. Yeah, <laughs> man. I'm second to the youngest. It's seven of us. Yeah, take care of everybody. Yeah. What? Yeah. It was like when you made it, we made it, huh? 100%. <laughs> <laughs> we made it. Hell we yeah. Off this. Easy call. Yes. Was there something that you learned by being on tour with J. Cole or even having him executive produce this album? Um, What I learned about... J. Cole, yes, it was very, it's a very, 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 very important learning experience. It's just like, nigga, he the biggest act that his, this is his concert. He the biggest act, but he still opened up. Mm. Mm -hmm. So that shit just calmed me down. Like, yo, you too much of a superstar, nigga. Calm down. This nigga got more money than you. Right. He opened up at his own tour. He come out with, with a suit on, with with a, with a mask on and shit. It's called Kill Edward. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's him, though. I don't ego. think I'm supposed to say that. Right, right. No, we know. We know. Yeah, 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 we don't yeah, figure yeah, it out. The killer yeah, word is yeah. J. Cole. <laughs> yeah, Kid Edward was, was, <clears throat> was him. So once I just seen that, it's like, okay. And then we started talking. I might catch him before he get on the stage. Like, yo, nigga, we got a link. Like, what the f we, we ain't gonna make We ain't going to make this awkward now. Mm -hmm. We just ain't going to be on tour. Just be <laughs> no idiot. Like, we got a link. He like, holler at me when I get off the stage. He, go, he get off the stage. I'm in his room. What do you think he saw in... And you also, mm -hmm. because it was like, even when we heard the announcement, we had, we seen J. Cole, and J. Cole is like kind of in, in his own lane, pedestal rapper. When people talk about top five and lyricists and bringing hip hop back, people say J. Cole. You know what I'm saying? And now we starting to see it more where he did an embrace, but one of the first embraces that we saw was you guys on that tour. Yes. You know what I'm saying? What do you think it was? And I hear you talking about J. Cole, but for yourself, what do you think J. Cole saw? In you, that he was like, man, this is the lane I, I want to go into. Because he could have picked anyone. I think I don't even think it was about the music. It ended up being about the music. I think he seen how pure, you know what I'm saying, natural that I, I was, not even being around me. Like, he started paying attention. Because when, yeah. I, when, I, when I got around him, he like, yo, this song right here. Oh, this this video on, like, on YouTube. He'll, he'll show me a video on YouTube with me just chilling with my kids. He mm -hmm. like, yo, this. So it made me just be like, okay, yeah. he ain't. It ain't really the music with him. He like he trying to find pure. He trying yeah. to find honesty. He trying to. It's not. It's not and that much. Even with in rappers. his a lot verse when he say how he saw Twenty One Savage in the studio with his kids. That's about texture. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? That yeah. That that's not about oh what, what I'm getting. At, what's his no eight? Song. What's his sixteen about? Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's about texture and character. And then he started listening to that. Yeah. So yeah. I man. think it was like that. Like he seen me as a person, as a a free person. Mm -hmm. And then that made him start paying attention to my music. He started listening to old music, music from 2008, 2007, mm -hmm. 2009. 
and he then he hear lyrics. Now he like, yeah. yo, you got to get back to lyrics because now you just be putting out music and you just like having too much fun. And you playing like you got to start back. <laughs> but do you real feel lyrics. like with so much fun? Do you feel like you you not went back in, but that it, like lyrically you was like, okay, yeah, I, I, I'm I'm in I'm in that same bag or I'm in a different bag right now. No, no. Those are That's like, right there. yeah, mm-hmm. and and even when people were talking about, oh, you know, yeah, look at him, he wearing a dress. When you was like, yeah, but what was under the dress? Uh-huh. You know what I'm saying? Like, that was a great song because it just like answered the question, right? Yeah, yeah. It, it answered Listen. the lifetime question. Yeah, you know, like Listen. what was under the dress? My man was like, man, I had a stick under the dress. I, came with, like, <laughs> I love that dress, but yeah, that. <laughs> but I I do have to ask you too. When you step out and there are the eccentric looks, or there's a certain way that you look, and but people <clears> still say like, hey, man. That dude's card is a card that you don't want to F with. You know what I'm saying? But you can go, you can put the dress on, you can paint your nails. You know what I'm saying? Like, where does that come from? Not with being that comfortable, but without being really questioned. You know what I'm saying? Mm. I think it came from, like, the trials and tribulations that that you you guys have experienced about me. And, like, some people, like, I had to prove a lot of points. You know, because rappers are... Some rappers are like kind of. I like all rappers. I have no problem with not one rapper. Mm-hmm. All rappers are cool to me. I, I hope everybody go. I hope everybody get richer than me. But sometimes they'll sometimes they'll be so locked into a box off of a fan, off of fake pages, off of people that don't even exist, to the point where you'll have to prove a point to one of them. Right. I had to prove a couple of points. So now it's to the point where it's like, okay, this nigga can wear twenty dresses. He got a stick under the dress. Right. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I wish I didn't have to do that because. You know, it's like, okay, my kids get to grow up and see this image mm. that I don't want them to see, but it's like, shit, I had to. And I'm explaining it to them. That's why I'm just opening up and start doing interviews. So it's like, you can speak for yourself, too. No. Now, of, how, when you do put on a dress, like, is that more for shock or is that just what the vibe that you on at that time? No, it's just like, fuck, I wanted a, I wanted a, a cheetah print long shirt. I couldn't find one. <laughs> I seen this. I'm like, yo, this shit is. This, this is the closest I'm gonna get to. It. <laughs> like, give me this little house on the prairie ass dress over here. And this is the closest I'm gonna get to it. Right. And it's just like I wasn't thinking at all. It wasn't even a. I'm finna try to shock the world. I'm finna clout. I don't care. About, I don't care about clout. Yeah. I go under a rock for five years. I don't care about this. I like to put people on. Yeah. More than put myself on. Mm. You know what I'm saying? That's why it take me a long time to do a, a album. It ain't, it ain't, I got 15,000 songs. It don't, it ain't, it ain't about that. I can put an album out right now talking to you. Mm-hmm. I can give you an album, put it out next week. Well, let me do it. It'll never hurt me. Well, give it to me. We can do it. All right. Well, remember, I'm going to produce it then. You I'm know what I'm saying? saying. <laughs> exactly. I'm going to eat with you. Uh, so, so when you do that, like you say, it ain't about cloud and ain't about none of that. What about all the, you know how you can live, there's so much clutter on social media. How do you not let that clutter get under a young thug, under your skin or? Or sway you, because I you got to remember I came in the game probably like eight nine years ago. Mm-hmm. I'm the founder of this. I'm the founder of like drip clothes. Like it'll never be able to get to me. I nigga, I I played. I I kept my patience. Like I kept my anger in at the time when you know you're supposed to spaz. So it's like this little shit now. This shit, this nothing. This nothing. These are. It's like it don't it don't matter to me. It's nothing to me, and I know I'm with it. Mm-hmm. I'm with whatever anybody with. I'm a hundred percent with it. Yeah, bring it. Yeah, I, smiles bring smiles, and frowns can bring frowns. Frowns bring smiles. Yeah, well, frowns bring frowns. You know, if, <laughs> if somebody want to frown at you, they can, you can frown right back at them. <laughs> yeah, but I smile. You can frown, I smile. I heard that. Yeah, that's what can make it, makes things uncomfortable too. Like, yes. man, he's supposed to be mad right now. Yeah, he is. He's yeah. Just <laughs> yeah. So, so when you go from that to figuring out like the world is talking, you know what I'm saying? And you do hear where people questioning your manhood, mm. you know, and and you don't have to stand up and say no, nah, because I mean, hell, you got six kids, you know what, <laughs> what I'm saying? But <laughs> you, you know what I'm saying? Like, but but what <laughs> do you do about about that when people say, "Oh man, he must be." Or how could he put on a dress and not be? You say, what do I say about it? Yeah. I just be like, well, it, one thing it do is it stop me from judging people because it's like, mm. people judge me and people people say gay, but it's like, nigga. If, at one point, I probably had more hope. I probably, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. 
It's, it's serious. I'm definitely sure you, you <laughs> have more than serious. me. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, if people think that I'm gay, I can't. They already misjudged. Mm-hmm. I'm the straightest man in the world. Man, I ain't finna. I hate guys. But like, what? Yeah. What the fuck are you talking about? I'm not even having no threesome with no nigga. Like, no, that's right. gay. <laughs> that's hey, gay. Man, but do you feel like you opened up even more so of the world to be even more comfortable? You know what I'm saying? Like, yes. I see, like, like even little Uzi Vert. Like, you'll see people that, it's like, man, go ahead. Because hip-hop used to, we, we thought it looked a certain way before. Yeah. And now, we don't, don't know. look a certain way. Yeah. Hip-hop don't look a certain way. Hip-hop is music. Hip-hop ain't mm-hmm. no fucking dress code. <laughs> hip-hop don't got a dress code. Yeah, man. Did you grow up on hip-hop? Yes. Yeah, it always been. Did you always know you, you wanted to be an artist? Or do you felt like... Like, did the streets have you early on where you listened to it, but you didn't want to be a part of it? I didn't want to be an artist. I wanted to play football. Mm-hmm. I played I played football for majority of my life till high school. I just stopped in high school because I started rapping. I always rapped, though. I've been rapping since I was right. six, six, seven years old. Been r- making raps, writing raps, sitting in the house with my big brother. But uh, I always wanted to play football. So once I seen, like, Football was kind of like too slow for me. School was too slow. I was too smart for school. Right. Oh, that's like, the overthinker. Mm. Yes. Too you know too much knowledge hurt. Mm-hmm. Knowing too much hurt. My dad always taught me that. So I probably when I turned like twelve years old, that's when I was like, all right, I'm gonna start rap. I yeah. always loved rap. I'd listen to all Wayne songs, all Hot Boys. Wayne was my my favorite artist. I really didn't listen to nobody you, music. You, but you Wayne. do Wayne. Wayne. You say Wayne a lot as far as influence. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And then you'll get people that will try to. Make it make it a little bit more than what it is, but you say his, you say Wayne's name with the utmost respect. It it, it feels, you sure. know what I'm saying. Why why do you continue? Not continue, but you make sure like it, it. I I haven't heard any recent or any kind of crazy shade. We sitting here now, and you that's one of the first names that you bring up as an influence. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like where where is that so called relationship? Uh, I don't know. I don't think that I don't think that nigga like me. <laughs> he don't like me, man. I don't know why though. You pretty much know. answer everything, huh? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So, do, is if you had to put your finger on a why Lil Wayne don't like you, is could you figure it out? Maybe I think it's because he just been with Birdman his whole life, and he's just so spoiled to the point where it's like he's really spoiled. He's been he's been a millionaire. He's been a superstar since he was nine years old. Mm-hmm. So he don't know nothing but his way. Mm-hmm. The first thing that don't go his way, it, it's probably, it probably don't even have, it, it don't have nothing in the world to do with me. I'm What's pretty sure he done sat back and looked at all interviews and any interviews I ever did, and he and he probably got to get the picture now. Like, okay, I maybe did too much. Maybe he felt like I done did too much against this young nigga to the point where I can't even mm. embrace him. But that's even crazier. Like you're supposed to see that, and then you're supposed to speak on that. Mm. What, what's the relationship with uh with Quan with Rich Homie? No, we don't have no problem. Okay. Like. I don't think we we gonna be. I don't think we can be like how we used to be. Right. He already did. He already just did some bullshit. He already know my heart. So it's like, mm. once you just, I'm too pure. So once you just cross you, that line. Yeah, you do that. It's like no. I'm, I forgive. I always forgive. If what? I kill, if I kill a person, I pray to God, God that He forgive me. If I do something to a person, I pray I get forgiveness. So I always forgive. I don't ever hold grudges on nobody. I forgive everybody. But on, on the on the. Uh the shallow end. You know how people want more music, I and mean, people want to put y'all together. You don't see that happening. No, right? Because it'll be just it's more personal simple. as opposed to yeah. It's nothing about music. It's a hundred percent personal. Like this was my brother. Yeah. It's just like, bro. Now it's like, man, you probably can't never get the blessing of having me on the song, and I can never get the blessing of having you on the song again. Damn. And as you say that to us, I don't know what you're talking about, but he. Quan, he know exactly what you're talking about. Yes, he wow. he did he did a show before and he and, and I think a guy had touched his leg on the stage like a fan was like yo he was standing on the end of the stage and, and people was touching him grabbing his shoes and he was like yo I ain't with that gay shit nigga I ain't with that thug shit mm-hmm. and it's just like damn you my brother like nigga I got your name tattooed on me mm-hmm. like what the fuck is you doing so it's just like it's like that like I forgive him because I know he he really get he really be drunk hey, Quan get drunk damn <laughs> he get drunk to the point where I have to carry him out the club like mm. so i know for a fact he was drunk but it's like so at I'm the moment there's not a, there's not a conversation nothing you just you, you over here he's over there and it's just yeah i heard he that. know what it is yeah and and i always tell people i say man in life life is like mathematics you know what i'm saying it's like 
You want to, you know, you want to add wisdom. You know what I'm saying? You want to add years to your life. You want to multiply your money. You know what I'm saying? You got to divide your time with us, your music career, your kids. That's yes. division. And then there's times in life you got to start subtracting people too. You know that's what I'm saying? And, and that's just one of those things where we, you know, we hope for something, but it's like, oh, man, you know, it ain't going to happen. No. Nah. Style-wise, where does that come from? My style? Yeah. Because there's sometimes I can follow along, and then there's other times where I'm like, what the fuck is he doing? Yeah, I'm <laughs> there's like, no boxing huh? you. But I'm with you. Yeah, yeah. you say it yeah. again. There's no boxing young thug. Like, yeah. you can't say, like, this is his style mm -hmm. because it switches so much. And it's not, isn't and, 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 and what makes it so pure and so amazing is I don't think of it mm -hmm. I don't be like okay today I'm finna dress the weirdest way in the fucking world <laughs> today I just wake up and put on clothes and, right and people will be like yo look at this guy do people come to your shows dressed like you of course yeah, yeah. 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 I don't yeah. know if you saw me or not <laughs> yeah. Yeah. yeah you came with that white outfit one time huh? so you say you didn't even thought like okay it's 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 Wednesday or Thursday and this is what I'm gonna do today you I'm know about to fuck up the internet or ah. I'm about yeah yeah so no. That's not preconceived where it's like, oh, today is, you know, I got to literally like it. it's not. I never in my life thought about what I'm aware to like. I'm going to do this mm -hmm. because of this or I'm going to wear this dress because of a cloud. Like, it's like I think the first time I ever wore a dress at that point, I didn't even know it was a dress <laughs> on God. <laughs> I promise to God. The you first time I wore on? a dress. But I, I just believe you, though, bro. <laughs> yeah, I bought it. And it's like people like he got on a dress. I'm down there. The, the, Defending it like yeah. I ain't wear no fucking dress. Like, nigga, what you talking about? Because I know what my version of a dress is. Right. I ain't never wore no fucking dress. dress. So but that lad, like, that other one was a dress. Which one? That wasn't the a dress. Jeffrey one. The cover. Purple one. Je yeah. That's the one he's talking oh, about. No, the no, other no. one was Hell a dress. Nah. The, the Jeffrey cover? Yeah, that was a dress. No. no. It's. <laughs> Y'all thought that was a dress? It looks like Am what? I tripping? Yes. That's a <laughs> Somebody Google this. Sh man, am I tripping? What is it then if it's not a dress? It's. Is it like a long coat or? It's like, it's kind of like a coat. Okay. Kind of like a quilt. Uh, it looks got, like somebody's curtains. That's what it looks like. Can you bring me one of those with $10,000 under it? That is a dress. <laughs> no, yeah. That looked like a dress skirt. That looked like it had. Am like I tripping? No, I mean, it, no, from the angle, it looks like it could be a dress, but it, it also looks like a skirt with, with suspenders, <laughs> maybe. Like it looked like a mop. And a cummerbund. <laughs> somebody somebody, somebody did a me. Somebody <laughs> <laughs> put a mop next to the yeah. dress. Yeah, that is a dope ass mop. <laughs> he was too, wearing though. a mop. That's what he was wearing. <laughs> Uh, no, 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 no. You, if you see like the things that's twirling around my arms, okay, and you see the like, the little it looked like a skirt overall. That's what it looks like. It no, looks it's, like it's a skirt and it has like overalls, and then you put them around your it's wrist. Like one long quilt. Okay. You got I got I got a whole like I'm putting out a documentary, mm. and it's and it's and it's and it got me getting getting this shit put on me. That's you dope. know what I love? You let us say and think everything first. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I love the pose. And you don't yeah. even step up and say crazy. You know what I'm saying? Like, we think everything first, and then when you're ready to say what it is, it is. Yes. That's crazy. Hey, man, and we, when you, you said it. we can't put you in a box, and we started talking about fashion and everything, man, but just style, lyrically. What you, you know what I'm saying? Like, like what, and like I said, sometimes I'm with you, and then there's other times I'm like, okay, what I can't catch doing? this. You know what I'm saying? And not that not that I don't rock with it. Just I don't I can't get the lyric. You know what I'm saying? Like I seriously sat and there's times when I'll study. I like I don't like to look at the lyrics first. I like when y'all print it, when people print it. Oh man. So I can like literally Correct tell you what, exactly what I'm saying. <laughs> and you're gonna understand it. Yeah. Every single thing you ever wanted to know. Do you ever look at your lyrics when you see like a uh uh, iTunes or something like that. You're like, man, that's not what I'm saying. Yes. Yeah. I just did this with uh, <laughs> Genius. Genius. Post Malone. Oh, oh. oh. The post for goodbyes. Malone, um, the um, goodbye song. Mm, I love that song. People, you got to look at the, if you look at the video on the internet, it gon' if you look at the video on 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 the internet right now, it got the lyrics on it. Yeah, the real vid official video, mm. it got the lyrics on it. Shit, it's all wrong. Whoa. What? Yeah, the the whole official one is not what I'm saying. How does yeah. it become the official one if it's got the wrong one? Yeah. <laughs> Someone messed up. <laughs> this is the real video. I'm like, yo, <laughs> take this, take me off, take every what did. Y'all ain't even calling ass. Y'all just thought y'all knew what y'all yeah. was talking about. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck is y'all doing, bro? He said. Uh, I don't say metamorphosis. Like, oh, I thought that's what you said on there. But yeah, but just not being put into that style box. Like, like one thing we know is when we hear you, like, even on So Much Fun, there's different octaves. There's different cadences. Hear them. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It. I made it very, I made it very, very, very. 
personal and I made it to where it's like my original voice. You can hear me. Yeah. Every song. Yeah. Hey Amen. When uh, and then with personal, I noticed that uh there there was Nipsey's name mentioned mm-hmm. a couple of times. Tribute. You know what I'm saying? What was your relationship like with with Nipsey? Man, that's my brother. Mm-hmm. Like, God, yep. It hurts. It hurts so bad. It's like, dang, I wish I was right there. I would. I'd rather die with this nigga. Like, this is my brother. Like, mm-hmm. like, that's how much I like. I mean, that's how much we are family. Like, it's it, it's sometimes it's like, damn, I wish I was right there. Yeah. I know I probably would have jumped in front of the gun. Or I know I would have been the guy that saw him when he was walking back up. And this is this is early on too, bro. This is not like I mean, this and no di- oh nine. And see what I'm saying. And and there's texture there, and there there's history. documentation yeah. and history. And whoever got on to Nipsey at a certain time, that's just when people got on. I don't fault them for that. You know what I'm saying? If it was 09, 15, whatever. Even those that got on Nip after he passed. And he, nobody caught on to him until he was dead. Yeah. And so, and, and and I'm like, you know, if that's when you caught, but I see that you caught Nipsey when the world wasn't looking at Nipsey. Of course. You know what I'm saying? So what what got you to where you saw something in him and he possibly saw something in you that made that relationship work I'm big when on the like, world wasn't watching. I'm big on numbers. I'm big on like ancestors. I'm big on this. My first time, anything I see a lot, I always pay attention mm-hmm. to. If I my first time ever coming to LA, it wasn't even on a rapping. Um, I wasn't even coming to coming to LA on no rapping course at all. Like it was mm-hmm. 09. I was we was really we was we was yes, outside. Sir. Like we yes, really sir. trapping. We coming up here trying to find weed, take this, go home and sell weed, sell weed. Like we really in the trap. This is my first time ever coming up here. We done, I'm done with all that though. Yeah, 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 yeah. Easy call. But I'm I'm riding around now. I'm going shopping. Every fucking every light I brought past had a picture of this nigga on the light. <laughs> <laughs> but and that was on turf too, though. Mm-hmm. He, you know what I'm saying? That was like oh, in the hood for mm-hmm. real. Everywhere. Yeah, man. Every boy. sign I seen had his face on it. <laughs> the marathon. Mm-hmm. I'm like, who the who is this nigga with this good hair? <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Easy call. In 09, Duke, my, my artist, my brother, he in there too. He knew him because he, both of them neighborhood. Yes, mm-hmm. sir. So he, he like, this up. nip. He got a show at the House of Blues. This back when the House of Blues was up. Mm-hmm. He got a show at the House of Blues. I'm like, man, take me to his show. I went to his show. This nigga Dr. Dre at his show. I'm like, yo, who the fuck is this nigga, bro? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> what Dre doing out here? This nigga had Dr. Dre at the show. I'm sitting beside Dr. Dre before I was a rapper. Well, I was a rapper, but right. it was 09. But not on. I, no, I wasn't rapping. Yeah. I was. A, I knew how to rap. In 09, I got music. Oh. I, got, I had a few mixtapes out, but I wasn't stunned. But we're not looking at you in the crowd saying that's... No. Right. Nobody. I'm in L.A. on a whole nother course. Mm-hmm. It's got nothing to do with music. I'm doing no promotion for music. See Dr. Dre, I'm like, yo, I leave out of there. So I start, we leave out, I start playing this music in the car. I'm like, all right, cool. I see what's going on. This nigga, a teacher. I'm a teacher. Mm-hmm. I like to teach what I've been taught. He teach what's taught. I've been on him since 09. We did music. Mm-hmm. Then mm-hmm. he was already a superstar. This nigga was Nipsey Hussle. Mm-hmm. I'm a tra- I trap. But I'm like, but I want to make music with this nigga. This nigga comes straight. We go straight to the studio. That's what I do. I got music like you'll hear people on my album. You like who the hell is this man? This this nigga's sister, right? Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, this is junkie. He got it's a junkie now that's singing in the hood. Like he did nothing with his life. He he smoked dope. Now he a junkie, but shit, Thug got him on his album. Yeah, Thug got him some type of money. I'm just like that. So it's it's just like in our birthday. This nigga was born yeah, in right. August the 15th. Yeah. I was yeah. August 16th. Yeah, uh-huh. almost the same day. I was born in like 1202. I this nigga, me and him, almost had the same birthday. About two minutes. I was born 1202, August 16th. He was born August 15th. When when Nip was here, bro, did you know that that, that he was something special? Yes. Yeah. Since since 2009. Yeah. Since 2010 when I just started paying close attention. 2010, that's when I started taking music real, real, real serious. What did he see in you as, as you started to progress? Because I know y'all had to have conversations. Because some of the best conversations I've had with Nip... Was off air, mm-hmm. of course. You know what I'm saying? Either, Best ones. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So what what was he seeing in you that that was like him, or that he, that you felt like, man, I, I think this is what what he peeped out in me. I think he peeped like the pureness, because mm-hmm. he he big on that. He big on energy. He been big on it. That's why it's like I'm I'm it make, it it hurt me so bad to the 
it hurt me so bad that nobody really knew him. Nobody really caught on to him. Like, but this nigga been about energy for life. Yeah, man. You can listen to the marathon. Mm-hmm. You can listen to the Rolling Sisters. You can listen to any album mixtape he ever put out. He talking about energy in 09. He talking mm-hmm. about energy in 09. I'm not even on energy at that point. Right. But I'm trapping. <laughs> I don't give a damn about no energy. Like, yeah. Energy is if your energy, energy ain't right, you ain't around me. <laughs> nigga, if your money ain't right, you ain't around me. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, broke ass way from Yeah. <laughs> yeah. He like, I have a junkie around me. He, that's why he got old guys work at his shop. Yeah, yeah man. Like, it's like, I, I think he's seen the same exact thing. Me and him had a lot of conversations off air. We never talked on air. So people will probably be like, what the hell kind of relationship you and him got? Like, but it's my nigga. We got. Yeah. Nigga, miles and miles and miles of text mm-hmm. messages. And nigga, you know, when he come to Atlanta, he come to see me. And I think, <laughs> too, I think that's why a lot of people that, and for those who didn't know Nip, they got touched in a certain way with music, mm-hmm. whatever it is, man. And that's beautiful. Yes. But those that, like, he sat in that chair. Personal. You know what I'm saying? Like two weeks before. <laughs> and just phone calls or you know and you 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 know hey what's up bro yeah. you know what i'm saying <laughs> like hood. so yeah so <laughs> you, you 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 get that and i think that's why it affected people so much it affects you so much man it's just like i'm like man i got to do big boy interview just because i could just see that this nigga really in real life genuinely love my brother yeah man majorly bro him. majorly I, I can look and see pure yeah and anybody i can see fraud up here Majorly, bro. Big boy, pure. When it come down to nip, yeah. How will the marathon continue on in your life? Best way possible. Mm-hmm. I've been talking to BH, his 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 twin. I want to take his daughter. Want to some uh, little chain and a ring, a money and chain and ring to go back to school. And she want to go shop. I'm supposed to be taking her to shop today. Mm-hmm. Like the marathon gonna continue because it, it's gonna continue anyway. Because I was always on the mar- I always been on the marathon. I always been grown. I, you know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm I'm a young OG. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's going to continue regardless. If he was here or if he if he still was here, I gone. He, it's going to continue regardless. I'm with him till till it's over. To the horn stop, I'm with him. I heard that. It'll continue in the most graceful way. Like I love the way his daughter is raised. I yeah, love the man. way his daughter think like, "Nigga, you raised a little girl." Yeah. She's really like a man. She's not like a little girl. <laughs> <laughs> She's a grown He's yeah, grown. and the way that he, he, you know, and continue as well, but the way he brought her up and the way he oh talked to her, you know what I'm saying? Like yeah. real conversations real as ones. well, man. You know, and, and he gave her a lot in a small amount of years. Mm-hmm. That 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 that's why when we say the marathon continues, bro, we got to continue to just add water of and let that continue to grow. And and that's everywhere, man. We learn we learn so much from brother Nip. You know what to do, what to do in your community, how to treat people. Young G. And I always tell people too, Thug, I'll say, man, character is what's being said about you when you're not in the room. Yes. And when he wasn't in the room, people always spoke well about brother. Friend me away from me. Yeah. And easy call. Young Thug, is it true that you did not want to hop on uh, Camila Cabello's Havana, but Mm. your mom convinced you to do it? My mom actually liked the song. I'm not, I ain't, like I was saying earlier, I don't care about clout. (laughs) It's not about a number one song with me. I don't mm-hmm. care if I never get a number one song. I don't care. I just love doing music. I do music because I love doing music. I don't do music for satisfaction. I don't do it for. I don't do it for money. I don't do it for any of these things. I do it because I love to do music. Mm-hmm. A football player that love football, you play football because you love football. Right. LeBron James got a billion dollars. He don't care about a coin. He mm-hmm. love playing basketball. Basketball. He want to. He want to stay on the court. Yeah. Want to win. Yes, it's the same with me. So I never cared about. I was. I heard from the first day I got the song. I had the song in my email, in my email for six months. Oh no! <laughs> like unread. Man. The song is out. The song was out six months before I put my song my part on. Damn! So you didn't even jump on it like, man, this is a hit record or it's going to be a hit. You were just like, huh? Like, like anybody else would have this? jumped on, <laughs> just because. So it got to the point where the, the label, wave. Yeah, I ain't. I don't. I don't care for that. Uh. <laughs> Mom, it got to the point where somebody in my team done told my mom, like, yo, tell this nigga to do this for you. <laughs> <laughs> yo, listen to his mom. You know, that's like the last resort when you're like, man. Tell his mom. Yeah. Like, you done told my mom. My mom, like, son, can you just do me a favor? I'm like, what's up, mom? You going in your pocket? Like, what's yeah, up, Yeah, I'm thinking she's going to say, send me some money. <laughs> <laughs> can you please just do the song? Please. I'm like, man, I sent, I done sent the money back. I don't. I just didn't feel like doing music. I just didn't feel like doing the song. It was a, it was a, at, was it at like a high. moment where you were just like, huh? I ain't feel like doing it. 
it wasn't even like anybody else would have Did you get a Grammy for that? Few of them. Damn. I'm and, glad and, I did it. Yeah, yeah, but, now. But you know what I'm saying? Yeah. When you look in the rearview mirror, like, yeah, I'm glad I did okay. that. Yeah. I love how when you came to a, the Grammy Awards, you still had your like LA County bracelet on and you still had a handcuff on you. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Police pulled you up. Like, what, what, were you going through it this damn near the same day that you almost really missed the Grammys? Yes. That's crazy. Hit record, Grammy a, nominated, win the Grammy. One, two. Yeah. How long before did you get so-called out of custody before you made it to the stage? How long were you think you were out? I like, I like 45 hours. Oh. I'm, when they let me out, I'm like, yo, can I just take a bath here? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you take a bath in the jail right fast so I can just go ahead and put on clothes. I don't need it. Try to rent a home, get enough shower, and then I just, let me take a bath here. I'm like, man, so you went damn really clothes. from the cage to the stage. Yeah, my mom, like, I'm like, bring the clothes to the jail. Just gonna take a bath in the jail and, like, do this. She like, nah, fuck no. Never. Let's go. We just left. I went straight to the Grammys. I heard that. And the winner is Slime. Young, like, where are you at with your joint project with Juice World? Is that true? Are you guys oh my doing gosh, something? Bro. Yes. Yes. <laughs> How far along? Probably like, Three months you know juice world is like phenomenal yeah he magical like he's magical mm-hmm. he like he don't want to just do he don't want to just be like all right let's put this out we're doing we doing a sketch we're doing like a, a look 45 minute movie with it with with this yeah, he, he's, he, he got vision yes amen and he freestyles like yeah with. and then when when, when you do something with him and if you're writing on you having your good time because you don't really write either though right no damn but you'll you'll go in like he man, I've had in my career, bro. You were three years old when I started in radio. You know what I'm saying? So I've had in my career so many people that sat down and freestyled for me. Juice World came in and you'll, he, think, you'll think it's rope. Man, I was like and, and I was like, it can't be because I also I do lyrics too. So I know when people on this safety thing and you know what I'm saying like oh they've been there before they, you, he was all over the place bro all you gotta do is give him a subject and he was like, gone rap about JC Penis. yeah yeah. He, <laughs> and, 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 and he'll go on God you know what I'm saying so does he jump in when you do a song with him yes mannequin Every time challenge we, he write yes. right in the booth yes he did he did, a ver- he did. and then he did like six verses yeah. for mannequin challenge <laughs> <laughs> on God and he did six verses he did a verse. He like, um, you the right fast. Let me try one more. Damn. He did it six times. Six verses. Does that keep you? Does that put you in, in challenge mode? Yes. Or yeah. Of course. This nigga did. Nigga, I can't even listen to a, a beat this long. Like, I'm doing a song in thirty minutes. My my longest song might might be thirty minutes. Damn. So yeah, I hear that you say, man, you could put something together, in in ten minutes. Like a song. Yeah. Is <laughs> yeah, like the song that you just played. Yeah, I probably did that shit like one take. Like, hey, bro, man. let me it's just you. slow and it's just thinking but that. That's it's what I was so gonna good. ask you about too, because the j- even just the texture on that, and that's what I say mm-hmm. with so much fun. There's there's the club, you know what I'm saying? But then there's also like, no, listen to what he's saying right here, you know. And what I do is I listen first because I don't like reading the lyrics first, and then I'll try to catch certain things. Then when I go to the lyrics, I'm probably listen to it like four or five times before I even look at the lyrics. And then when I look at the lyrics, I'm like, damn. And I notice you, Ida, you will know the lyrics right off because. Yeah. Because you- I listen hard, though. So I I will listen. I'll do the same, though, the same thing that you do. I'll listen first and then I'll go back to the lyrics. Well, you can but, listen to me. Yeah. So you can hear me. But, yeah. So I could hear you. But the thing is that sometimes, like you said, like lyrics aren't right all the time. No. Yeah. But they're, for the most part, they're pretty. Were the lyrics right for that? On. Just how it is? From what I caught. Yep. Yeah. Hey, man, let me tell you my next one, too, bro. And I, I would mess this up around the house for the longest. Uh-oh. <laughs> and I just walk through the hallway and I go, feel better, bro. <laughs> and I know I'm wrong. You know what I'm saying? That that damn fucking, what's that? That icy shit with you and Drake. Bro, bro. Uh, ice melts. Yeah. See, you got so many damn songs. You don't even know. <laughs> you, know what I'm saying? <laughs> you know you got a, you got you know you did stuff with Drake. Yeah. Okay. Okay. <laughs> just just check and see if you if you knew that you did. But yeah, do do you know what I'm talking about? Yeah, um, like feel a rump rump. Yeah, feel a rump rump. That's what it says. Yes. See, hmm. <laughs> I had to get you in front of me to oh know that gosh, you say feel a rump rump. Ass. Oh, ass! Yeah. This is feeling rough rough. Mm-hmm. That's what it say. Yeah. Go change it. Go change it. 
Okay, read the lyrics. Feeling rough, rough, rough. So, hey, man, and that's what, even because I used to go, feel rough, rough. Feeling and then rough, rough. when I start reading the lyrics, I go, feel rough, rough. Gotta make it feel rough. And now I'm seeing that I've been wrong that time. The, and these lyrics says, Okay, hold rough, on. No, 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 no. What do you say? Feeling, feel a rump, rump. No, do, do it for me, the cadence. Feel rough, rough. Feel a rough, rough. <laughs> go ahead. Feeling rough, rough. <laughs> Baby, I'm needing something, something. That's what this says. <laughs> yeah. Hey, wrong. Hey, man, you know what? Mm -hmm. Doug, I don't think you know your lyrics, homie. Yeah. I don't yeah. Think you, man, I don't think you... Oh, boy, this dude, man. What's so, what's so crazy? I never forget a song. Go for it. <laughs> I go on a, I can go on a, um, Like, anytime I go on the stage... Do you I just automatic? Never forget a word. Damn. Two years ago, I don't know what it is. I want to beat it up something, something. Oh, my God. <laughs> we need to hit someone up. <laughs> what do you up. say? Here. You, you say you're diving in the rough or something, something. Uh -huh. <laughs> You need, need to give it up to someone. That's right. All right. <laughs> oh my God, I love it. Give it to someone. Yeah. So you end up like, whoa, whoa, whoa. Yeah. That part, right? Why the hell? So this didn't... part, but this part is wrong. <laughs> yes. So I'm okay. saying, why Drake? Oh, you need man. to give it up to someone. You need to give luck to someone. Oh like, wow. Like somebody need to be lucky enough to hit it. Basically, there it is. <laughs> Mind blown. Thank you, but bro. It just make you go back and be like, damn, this is crazy. Hey, dude, I can't even tell you how many times I went back. You know what I'm saying? I've been in that well many a times, homie. And this, you fucked me up right now. This is exactly why I miss actual CDs because mm. I used to love getting out the pamphlet that came with lyrics. Yeah. Like if it came with lyrics, you know it was coming mm -hmm. from the artist. And I miss that because now but my only source is the internet. Sometimes y'all got to do y'all, sometimes in y'all interviews, y'all got to ask these questions. Correct this? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. That's well, why you're here. Did. Yeah. And I had to ask, you know what I'm saying? Because there's times when I, and what I, in my career, I've asked people that, man, what do you say right here? Mm. Because the internet will have you talking about the sun, moon, and stars. And you're like, nah, man, I said earth, moon, and bars. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? For sure. Like, I didn't even know rump rump. Like, now I got that. Now yeah. I'm going to know. While we're here as well, man, there's been a break in as far as like uh, YFN. What's what's going on with you and YFN, Lucci? You know, uh, how comfortable are you are? Are you to talk about what's happening, even on the social media side? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Sometimes I just like to have fun. It's no, it's no hard feelings. I hope he get richer than me, take care of his family for life. I have no problem with nobody. I just like we had we had problems before where we done disagreed on, but it's not a problem to where it's like, oh, I hope he die or mm -hmm. like hell no. Nah. We just have fun with it. I don't know if he feels like right, right. That's all I'm saying. Is, is he having fun with it? But what about mm. when you get doubled down on? There, there's just some something when somebody can say, "Hey, man, I don't like the way you rap," or "I don't like this," "I don't like that." But when they start to, what is it like when they start to bring up like either your queen, your kids, or like how do you compartmentalize that? Where you still say, "Man, I hope you get money. I hope you get richer than me," because like I've had arguments with my girl. I've had argument arguments with several girls. That I said some of the worst things. You know, you get on with your girl. Mm -hmm. That's when you're young. It's like, so she'll say anything. Things. Nigga, I hope you go broke. I hope you go to jail. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Anything. Not that I'm saying I'm argue, I argue with my girl, but I have before argued with girls that I went with before. So it's like, I look at it the same way. Like, nigga, you don't mean no harm. I done seen you. Nigga, we just was on the blue carpet together in BET. You couldn't have meant no harm because mm. you could have got it then. So it's like, I look at all situations like that. I done got into it with artists and I done had to. Them that do jail time about getting into it with these niggas. Yeah. But these niggas started it. So I always look at it now like, man, these niggas don't want smoke. So it, it ain't a, on, it's not, they it's go not viral. on site kind of thing. With him? Right. No. We stay in the same city. We know each other live. Mm -hmm. If you Google Young Thug House, my fucking house pop up. Oh. My address, Google Young Thug. That's All right. scary. Well, I, know where to stop. I know where I'm going to sleep at when I get out there. Yeah, I got nice <laughs> Yeah, I appreciate that. You know what I'm saying? So so when you see this is how things get sensationalized on Instagram or on, on social media, you you don't let that affect you? No. I heard that. I'm the king. Like, I be, When I came in the game, I don't think clout was a word until I started rapping. This your house? Mm -hmm. <laughs> she, she really <laughs> looking. It like really has this. Like you really pull it up. Exact like, address. Damn. This nigga, you know where I stay. We can't have no house. <laughs> All right, I'll leave I gotta go home. I got kids. Right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. So you know what to catch me. Yeah, you can't be like bring the kids out. Daddy's in the hotel. Both nah. of us from Atlanta. I hear you. 
I hear you. And, and you know what, man? And, and I'm I'm totally at a at a distance. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And you always wish, like, man, you don't want to see nothing go crazy. No, you, know, you know what I'm saying? The Nipsey situation just come everything now. Like, even with people, like, I done started calling people that I had problems with. Mm-hmm. That I did, that I wasn't seeing eye to eye with. We still don't see eye to eye, but I'm letting you know it ain't no smoke. I heard that. Man, we ain't got nothing going on. Like, I don't want to see no nigga land in the street like Nip. I don't want to be landing in the street like Nip. Mm. I got you. Because I know I'm going to take it there, and I know it's other people around the world that will take it there, too. I ain't the only person that will take it there. So we go, we we debt doc anything we have problems with. Like, that shit debt doc. Mm-hmm. I, I I put up a post the other day. I'm like, nigga, if I ain't like what you did for your mom and kids, like, I'm bigging them up. Like, nigga, I like what you do for your mom and your kids. He take care of his mom and his kids. Speaking on? Uh, YFN and Lucha. Wow. Why you take, he take care of his mom and his kids? Like. This nigga in the car. With his, I got video saved in my phone of goddamn him riding in the car with his kids. His goddamn his daughter um came up from the back seat with the, with the water and poured it on his son in the, in the front seat was sleep. He, he, he like woke up. It's like I got these type of videos in my phone. Like this real fatherhood. I respect this. This 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 the the way he treated his mom and his kids will really stop me from doing something to him. I heard that. Is the Gucci band over? Please mm. tell me. Gucci who? The G- Gucci. When you remember when we were boycotting Gucci. The brand, you the never got Gucci. into the uh, like Gucci. the Gucci brand band. Yeah, because they they if we want to be technical, like you was wrong because it by me just doing research on it is like it is a such thing as called black. You know what I'm saying? Blackface. Yes, mm-hmm. it is a such it's a, it is a thing. It is a it's something. Mm-hmm. Even though I honestly totally didn't feel like they was being disrespectful. I feel like they were just being creative. All right. Do you think you, you said something hand. too early before you looked at, at blackface? Yes. Yeah, I got you. Because I'm just going with culture. At this point, it's about culture. Like, all right, nigga, we getting disrespected time and time and time and time. It's like, all right, I don't give a fuck if they if tip wrong or right. I'm with them. Yeah, I hear you. Mm. I don't care. I got enough money to put Gucci on hold. Mm. But me, being, I got my own clothing brand. Me, I'm creative. Me doing, me just being creative and being. Like a person that's into clothes, but into drip, into I'm into this, I'm deep in it. Got my own brand, mm-hmm. me doing this and being, and I'm so creative to the point where I can see from their side of the of view too. I always put myself in everybody's shoes. I see from everybody's side. I don't think that they was intentionally. I don't think they did it to disrespect black. Like nigga, this is to be the the dumbest time in the fucking world. You just let. King of Harlem come in and step yeah. in. Like Dapper. Nigga, I don't think y'all mm-hmm. I don't think you finna do nothing on no goddamn you going against black and you just signed Dapper Dunn. Like, mm-hmm. This is the blackest nigga in the world. Right. I don't think it was disrespect. I think it was a, just a, a totally creative side, but it still was something you supposed to thought about. It was just too soon to do it because we just going through so much with capping it and just like we just going oh, Michelle Obama and Obama and just blacks, period. Mm-hmm. All race anyway, but just most mostly blacks. Police brutality, like you know, what I'm saying you're going through too much to even do it right now. Like, relax. How much? How much do you do you pay attention to, as far as letting it letting it penetrate Yo. your thoughts? Like, speaking of clothes. Oh, hey, look, come on now, man. This yes. spider. Come on oh, now, bro. Oh, 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 okay. oh, shit, man, there it is. This is heavy too. This is nice, mm-hmm. and you got the right Jacket. X's on it. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Go ahead now. All right. I want to see. Put you it on, I'm babe. wondering, do I? Yes, put it do on. Do I put open on. this now or yes. do I sell yes. it packaged? No, 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 no. Put it on. <laughs> hey, I did a pop up in London. Uh huh. So where? In London. Oh. I did okay, a pop up. Yeah. Hey, do I want to meet you at the London? No, I'm <laughs> you know, you know, no, no. I don't think you want to meet him at the London. <laughs> no, no, not that one. <laughs> I did a pop up at the London. Wow. Oh, shit. Go ahead. Those coats, them, them coats are $2,000. Damn. Wow. I, I, I gave a kid one in London. That nigga sold it for 7000 <gasps> on eBay. Damn little so girl. you talking about to come up. you <laughs> handed it to him and like, he damn, immediately I sold it? But but that's also because I think the price went up because you handed it to him, right? Probably. Mm-hmm. So it's like kind of like how you handed this to me. Oh, there you go, like babe. hand given. <laughs> yes. Um, that's really nice. Yeah. Do I try this on? Yep. Or like, what's the value in it if I don't put it on first? No, this this is this is not like a car or anything. This is game value. Man. So you're going to get the value hey, to I'm try gonna, it on? Do you know what? You answered every question that we threw to you. <laughs> Even sh- that you probably shouldn't have answered. <laughs> You've been real with us. Mm-hmm. I won't keep it real with you, too. I think I owe you that. I'm selling this jacket. Big. <laughs> no. Big. You have to keep oh, it. Yes. No, no, no. He no, gave it to no. you. Well, I know. What, what you person- mean? It's a personal gift. Fuck that. He gave it to me. It's his. 
Yeah, it's mine to do whatever I choose. How with. much you think Girl. you're gonna get for it? If the kid Man, got the seven kid, grand. This for is a two X. If the kid got set, and, I, and I'm documenting. Wait till okay. he signs it. I know I'm getting ten racks video. off of this. Wait till he signs it. Turn it on. Yeah. Turn it on, big man. And I'm getting I'm getting ten racks off the rip for this. Now you that's an wow. easy call. You get more than that with oh, the signature, yeah, yeah, bro. No, I'm talking about we starting at ten. <laughs> we starting at oh boy. Look at hey, you. Man, oh, you. drip all different. Hey man, and you got the right X's too, boy. Nice. Oh yeah. shit. Oh, look at the back oh. of this hole. What is yeah, it about buddy. spider webs that you love? Oh. You mean that we love? Yeah, yeah. We, we love. She don't know about our line. Yeah, yeah, she don't know no spider. <laughs> she don't know about it. this shit uh, is dope as fuck. Don't get it twisted. I just like the I like the fact that I'm pure and like all people that always come around me, you get stuck around me. Oh. You never leave. Or you get caught in the spider like, web. Hey, stuck with you now. Ah, that's <laughs> dope. You get caught in the web. <laughs> yes. That's dope. Hey man, this is uh very nice on the inside. That looks too. like a that's a dope jacket. Yeah. You can take you can actually peel that off. Where, oh, it's, a, it's another one. You can pair the other piece? Yeah. Oh, shit. So you can make it thinner oh, so you don't, you don't have to have racks. the silver lining. Oh, man, 20 racks easy. Yeah. <laughs> so the kid sold his for seven. That was just a kid, oh, like a nobody. He sold it. He, he got it from me. He sold that shit like one hour. <laughs> How did 7, you find out? Hours. It was on eBay. You went and you yeah. looked. They like yo, one of your coats on eBay already. Oh my god! I'm like Great yo, quiz. hey man, you handed this one to me, bro. And I want to tell you straight up, man, I was just yo, I ain't gonna sell it today. <laughs> <laughs> Not today. I'm gonna let, I'm gonna let it get some value. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. <laughs> hey man, this is very hey dude, and I see it in your eyes. Why you didn't bring? Why he didn't bring y'all one? Yeah. Why? why? You know why? Hey bro, don't even look at the team. Are I want to I want no. Thugger, don't even look. I won't tell him because y'all not me. We the whole neighborhood. Mm. All right, you don't have to do that. What do we need to blame? You know yeah. what though? You look good in it. Oh, bit. thank you. You hey, look man. great. I see you. Hey, dude. Hey, why the hell you I, didn't you bring all them one? Yeah, I'll in, take a shirt. Real, Jeff. Hey, I'm bro. small. Yo, Jeff, come here. Nah, nah, nah. Come Stay in there. Don't let him. Don't let him <laughs> treat y'all bad. Where's my small? He gave it you the right one. You know what I'm saying? And plus, when I sell it, man, we all gonna eat. All right. Hey, man, this is extremely nice, homie. Thank you. Yeah. This is this is dope That's as hell. Dope hey man, and nice. people know where I'm gonna get it from too. Uh, you gonna be like, dude, big wearing that shit again? <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna be on red carpets that I wasn't invited to. Yeah. Like, hey, how you doing? How you Hit doing? him with the pose. Yeah, no, nah, this this is beautiful, brother. Thank I you. appreciate that, man. This gonna sell for real. <laughs> Look at that. See what I'm saying? That's dope. Mm -hmm. Put my little credit card right there. Right there. Stash. That don't, hey. that don't work. Another you know stash. Chapstick in the next one. Yeah, chapstick <laughs> over here. You know what I mean? Your, man. your credit card work. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. You got to call my wife. I doubt it. How many braces? I don't know. How many braces do we have on? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. This probably is too many braces. Huh? No, it's not. You have more in this one. Hey, the third one's my favorite. This one what? The third one's you, my favorite. You ever heard that? Uh, one. That's, this one's my favorite. Nine is the That's magic nice. number? Nine is uh oh. it's good luck. Yeah, nine Magic. is good luck. Yeah, you gotta get rid of yeah, one. Yeah, man. Hell, yeah. Seven. No, it's not. Oh, no, then no, that's no. fine. That's you what the white man wants you to think. Seven works. The white man wants you to think it's seven, man. Uh -huh. <laughs> yeah, but if, if you know anything about heritage, uh nine. Nine is a magic number, man. So oh, wow. Yeah, and ten is a. Uh, Kind of bad luck, right? Ten, yeah, ten like, is bad luck, bro. Oh, I need to get one to really bring. <laughs> yeah, you need to get rid of one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ten that's is the mark. That's what we're trying to get at. Ten is the mark of the beast, man. That's devil. Hmm. Yeah, you need. Yeah, all know. right, you ain't falling for that. <laughs> I <ain't laughs> yeah, yeah, hey, go ahead, now, love. Uh, what was it like getting so much praise from someone like Elton John? Tell like, Elton John don't validate me, motherfucker. <laughs> no, That's amazing, Elton John. I'm like, I, my first time meeting him. This nigga got a house. He's staying in Atlanta. In, in Atlanta. <laughs> you know, my neighbor. <laughs> but he's staying in Atlanta. He's, he probably stayed like three lights down from me. Really? Damn. He got the biggest condo. Penthouse in Atlanta. He had it since 1990. Oh, he been there. Damn. Yes. He been 1991. On. The year I was born, 1991. Damn. He fell in love with his first lover. Mm -hmm. His name happened to be Jeff. He made him move to Atlanta to to um get off drugs. That's dope. He moved he moved to Atlanta. He bought the condo in Atlanta in 1991. Um because of his um his first lover he fell in love with. His name is Jeff too. And that's what made him start listening to my music. He like, your name is Jeff. My first <laughs> lover name was Jeff, and he's from Atlanta. And he and I moved to Atlanta with him in '91, and I was born in '91. That's what Damn. made him first start listening oh, wow. to my music. I'm like, how the hell you even know, find out all this before <laughs> mm -hmm. the music? <laughs> <laughs> <It's research. laughs> so, because of Gucci. How does big fan of Gucci? Mm. Who? Elton John. That's dope. That's so Gucci is favorite rapper. What? Gucci, man. That's yeah, dope. I went to his house. He's hey, like, let me ask you this. 
<laughs> He's like, free Gucci. He, he was like, man, he done lost the weight. Is, he asked you, is Gucci a clone? Is Gucci a clone? <laughs> when is Gucci getting out? I'm like, hey, man, what? do you think that Elton John ever rapped along with you or Gucci and said the N-word at the house? He yeah. said, yeah. Oh, <laughs> he was rubbing it on to the lyrics. Yeah. He real. He a real one. Really, though. No. Hey, yo, when did the goo out getting out? <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. 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 I'm like, That's my nigga three right years. there. <laughs> yeah, like, ah. He's like, motherfucker. Shit, man. Tell that nigga Fucking believe this shit. <laughs> Get my number. Tell that nigga call me. <laughs> yeah, he's like, all right, I guess. I guess, uh, EJ. He got like, um, he got like 17, 18 million dollars worth, worth fucking glass in his house. He like glass. Man, really, He got though. vases all over And you know where he live? I bet there is. <laughs> no, I'm just saying, too. you know where he live. Yeah. Yeah. That's Tell crazy. Us. Like near you though, like oh. three lights away from you. Yes. Yeah, I heard that. Oh, I got that. Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna send Smokey Google. over there do a this, this like that like daylight. <laughs> I got a homie named Smokey boy. He'd be like, oh yeah, this, this light, that like daylight gone boy. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like I heard that. So Elton John is a neighbor. Yes. That's dope. That's crazy. Hell yeah. He like man, Elton John want to meet you. I'm like, cool. I'm thinking we gotta go to New York or London. Or yeah, LA. like where we gotta fly to? This nigga house in Atlanta. I'm like, yo, it's a condo. You ride past it every day. It don't even look new. But you'll point it out to us when we get to Atlanta. For sure. Me and Smokey. Sure. All right. Young Thug, you've been in the game for a while. Looking back at everything you've been through, whether it be as an artist or as just as a person, what advice would you give a young Jeffrey? Uh, never give up. Think bigger. Think, think, think Jeffrey. Uh, stay pure. Um, seek for pureness. Uh, seek for knowledge. Seek for growth. Seek for pureness again. Put the money up. Hey. Have kids. <laughs> you was born to create. Have kids. Everybody have kids. Man. What All you, you guys. Need you to sure have you kids. didn't talk to your younger self because you did that? <laughs> yes, sir. You accomplished yeah. that part. Yeah. What What does the word pureness mean to you? Because you you've used it a lot. I feel like that has a really deep meaning to you. What What does this signify for you? Um, uh, it's. Like basically, it's like uh, stand true, stand true to yourself. No fraud, no lying, no nothing. I try my best not to lie. Like no fraud, stay pure. Uh, no evil. Uh, no six six six. You know crosses. Jesus ancestors. You know. Uh, mm, that's that's basically it. Like just the same thing. Pure mean for, to you. It means the same thing to me. Sometimes I have to explain it because people are like, okay, what's your pure meaning? You wear dresses. Right. What's, what pure meaning to you? It means the same thing it means to you. Pure. Pure. I just like pure people because I'm pure. I don't want to be mixed in with the wrong. I don't want to spend a million dollars on you and then the whole time you plotting on. Mm. Yeah. Scheming. Scheming a million dollars. So I just seek for pureness. Seek for, just tell God, show me who's against. Mm-hmm. Show me who's not with me. You know, you can't stay around. I, was, I read one time, if you can't stay... If it's if it's not a pure person or a person that's up to what you up to, they won't be able to stay around. You like your spirit yeah. gonna irritate their demons. Mm-hmm. Yes, sir. Can't stay around. They gotta leave. Anybody your come around me and leave? Irritate their demons. Mm-hmm. Yes. Nobody's walked out of this room. Easy call. Thanks. Easy yeah. call. I I do want to ask you about um. I saw you with with on No Jumper with Adam Twenty Two, mm-hmm. and he asked you about Lil Lil Nas X coming out. And I, w- I want you to flush out exactly if if there was anything that you didn't get a chance to say. Now that you kind of look back at it, where you was like, he came out and paraphrasing, like, maybe he shouldn't have. And it wasn't about being against someone. Yeah. You were kind of, it, was it more of the way that people were probably going to be against him? Did yes. you think? It was more of that. It wasn't it wasn't a thing about, like, we got I got stylists around me. I got gay people around me that's always around me. Mm-hmm. I don't. I don't judge. I don't judge. Uh, but I don't know if he's a kid, so I don't know if he's going to be able to take what come. I'm the first person that came, that they, I'm the first rapper that they kind of like came at hard with this. They came at like Michael it's Jackson easier. and Prince, but right. I'm talking about hip hop. Yeah. Like, I'm the first person that ever came to this. I know how strong I had to be. Like, you know how many times I done spazzed, how many times I wanted to spazz, and it's like, I don't know if he can be able to do it. He's, a, he's still a teenager. So it's like that's the only thing I was like I I don't I don't think he should have did it because I don't know but by me just seeing everything the way he's taking it the way everything is he don't give a fuck mm-hmm. and he no. always said he looked up to me too so I know he he don't care right so it's like oh well 
it's kind of cool that he did it because it kept his song number one mm-hmm. yes, <laughs> for longer. Sir. Uh, my version came out. Thanks. Go ahead now. <laughs> It kept him longer for number. It kept him number one longer, um, and it don't look like it irritated him. It don't look like it did anything, any kind of harm towards him. I thought it was gonna do harm because I right. just know how critics are and I know how kids think. Yeah, and then kid. you gotta think, man. Like maybe two years ago, five years ago, ten years ago, could he have did the same thing? Mm-hmm. Hell no. So, and you gotta mm-hmm. think with you being in the game, and you people already putting a certain jacket on you. You know what I'm saying? And that's not the jacket that you wear. So you got to think that we hadn't seen so much with somebody saying this in hip hop. So you were probably taking some of your old school thinking as well and saying, man, people not ready for this. You know, as a protector. Yes. Yeah. Not bashing him. Like, nah, I see gays every day. Mm-hmm. I'm, not a gay, I'm not gay, but I see gays every single day. I got stylists. I got people who are around my girl. I got... People who are around my sisters, my sisters rap. They got gay people around. They friends. Like, I got little cousins that's gay, real family members that's gay. I think I got like two or three little cousins that's that's, that's gay. I don't have a problem with that. I did see a comment where, and I don't even comment read, so it must have been a lot of these. You know what I'm saying? Where they said the reason why you told him maybe he shouldn't have come out was because there could be something that's closet for you, which meeting you and knowing you and whatever, whatever. You know what I'm saying? And so for me to see that once, it had to be echoed quite a bit. What what do you say about something like that? Uh, what you say again? It just right, with so. with you saying he shouldn't have mm-hmm. that you were you were hiding your you were hiding yourself. <laughs> uh that's the answer right there. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, I don't need <laughs> any more. Like, I'm, I'm, <laughs> I'm having myself, so I'm telling them, but don't come out the closet, because I ain't came out the closet. Right. <laughs> Man, he looked at it's man, it's fun though, cause it's like, damn, my name came up in his comments. Thanks, mm-hmm. Tucker. I know you uh, wanted to be a football player and growing up. Um, what do you think about the football right now, man? With Cap, the kneeling, and then with Jay Z now having this relationship with the NFL. I think Jay Z the goat. Like, if I was a billionaire and I had the 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 power that he had, I do the exact same thing. I'll try yeah. to own a football team just to let. The black brother play on the team. Yeah. So mm-hmm. you feel like what we're seeing at the surface where everybody's kind of mad, like, what is he doing? Do you feel like we're watching the trailer and not the movie? Like, like You're watching something is set. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I hope he's setting something up because we see such a track record. My Jay-Z? Yeah, in the uh, rear view 100%. mirror. Yeah. This guy life is a setup. Damn. <laughs> this is the trailer. It's going to happen. 100%. I heard that. He'll hey, spend a billion dollars for it to happen. I ain't got that. Uh, he will. Oh, okay. He will. I thought you said he, he wanted me to put in. I was about to say, man, I, 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 ain't, I ain't got it. Is there anybody that you were excited to meet that that's famous? Uh, yes. That you met? Yeah, I met a lot of people. Um, I like believe it or not, not just because I'm here. I'm, I I was excited to come do this this interview. It's just like because I don't. I like to portray the dumb. You know, what I'm saying I like to portray like, oh, this nigga, this just young thug. Right, and I like to do this type of stuff so I can let people in and like. So yeah. now that when everybody go home, it's like, yo, this nigga smart as a mother. Yeah, mm-hmm. and let you speak real, too, man. though. Yes, you know what yeah. I'm saying, and not the clickbait. You know, is there anyone that you haven't met that you want that you want to meet? We because I mean, we met, you know what I'm saying. We met now. It's a dead people, but but not who? Mike Prince, uh, Bob Marley. Go ahead now. Uh, Big yes, sir. Good ones. No, just the one. <laughs> the legends. Now, what about the name Sex? Do we still go by the name? Yes. Sex. Yeah. Because- so, would you still be like a young Sex? Am I? You know, am I? Am I? Am I old Sex? Like, if we all took the name Sex, you're young. You're young Sex, but you're Sex. But you know, Sex don't got an age. I know if motherfucker's sixty years old having kids. There it is, right there. I you told can't be young thug mm-hmm. forever, right? But you can be Sex forever. But but at mm-hmm. one point, I did hear you say something about even with. With Thug, like Young Jeffrey. Thug, like changing, changing. Mm-hmm. Yeah, when you when you when you went to Jeffrey, yes. like if it, it felt like you was almost about to abandon the name Young Thug, but I, you haven't. I have. Oh, really? I used to be terrible, slime. I used to really be terrible. Slime. I was a bad slime. little. I was a bad right. kid. When I stepped, when I turned into Jeffrey, it's like since then, I know everybody look started looking at me like I was an adult. Mm. I'm grown. I got a business now. It's like. Bro, I got kids. Like, nigga, I'm not no kid. 
don't don't even call me on thug. I don't want to be called on thug. It's just like, nigga. This whole time we've been calling. So what do we what do we call you? Now, because I've been sitting with you for over an hour. Yeah. You don't say thug. <laughs> so, because I've been saying thug, thug, and so mm-hmm. you, young thug. Gone. It's gone. What does the What does the album say that I've just got? What does it say? Uh, so much fun. It, but by six. Are you fucking serious? Are your eyes going bad? Yeah, they are. To tell you the truth, why? <laughs> why did you talk to Doctor Asil? Okay. Hold on, man. Let me see. Doctor. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Give him a shout out. This says, I think it says Young Thug oh, on you it. Gave it up. <laughs> <laughs> I thought she was a real one. Yeah. Uh-huh. yeah. Oh, she he can read through people. Crazy. Hey, man. Yeah. Don't blame her hey, for what you said. You Don't lie. be sitting here questioning my eyes. That's why <laughs> hey, you, you, know you so got me all messed up. My, my shit eyes. tearing. Oh, you know the bad. Yeah. I got glasses on. That's with me right now. Hey, man, you know you, 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 know you had me messed up for a second. I was like, oh, Lord. No, no I'm strapped. They holding them. Well, oh, like, you, were, you wear glasses? Yeah, yeah, you look blurry as a motherfucker. Oh, really, though? <laughs> That's how I Watch, am. he going to walk out of here like, what? I was interviewing with who? <laughs> 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 like, who was that? Who? Like, big boy. Oh, that, oh, man, I told y'all not to take you to that motherfucker. God, I gave him a jacket, too. <laughs> yeah. Get my jacket back. Hey, hey, go back and give that jacket back. <laughs> and like, hey. <laughs> he he going to realize he gave me the wrong jacket. <laughs> <laughs> he going to get his glasses on like, oh, man. Like, man Where the black that. jacket at? <laughs> oh, you get it at the big. God damn it. Big boy interview. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you sure man. you want to do it? I'm like, yeah, they like. You know this nigga gonna say whatever you want, man. <laughs> hey, dude, let me tell you though, bro. I am so glad you came in. Yeah, and we, real, homie, like, we really been waiting on yeah. this fam. Like we really been waiting on you. But to that's come what made in. it good, right? Yeah, you happy you know? I ain't do it back then. And you know what I love about it too, man, <laughs> is that you're in a position, even with your aura, you could pick and choose mm-hmm. where you want to go, who you want to yeah. talk to. It ain't nothing about having to. You know what I'm saying? Like, oh damn, we got to. And the the neighborhood. Was waiting for this, mm-hmm. and and you, you don't. Sometimes you don't know who gonna walk in the door, how they gonna feel. Even your team behind you, man, they've been smiling. Uh, they've been going in your bag, taking shit away from you, <laughs> throwing you know, up the set just, in the yeah, back, throwing up. Yeah, yeah. He, <laughs> the he, he over there locking up. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Other ones like you would say something. They was back there. They was really like this behind you. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? And he was they was like he they was like family that like big. Uh, you know what I'm saying? But no, man, I love your energy, yes. bro. And like I say, man, the only thing I can say is I hadn't had a chance to really sit down. We we seen each other and light slap, but characters yeah, yeah. what's being said about yeah. you when you're not in the room and when you walk out of this room, we're gonna talk so much shit about yep. you. Yeah. I'll be like, man, this motherfucker. You know, no, but no, characters what's being said about you when you're not in the room, man, and you and you really Lit this room up, bro. Mm-hmm. And I appreciate you, bro. And I wish you Thank nothing you. but the best. Not on album, everything under your umbrella. Mm-hmm. That's your family. Yeah. That's your sales. That's your fashion. That's your family, your friends, everything, bro. Like you you got a you got a good heart, bro. And I appreciate sure. you for walking in. Thank you all for having me. Man, real talk, man. Y'all go ahead, man. Round of applause Woo! once again. Do we do round of applause? We don't. We never applaud for anybody. What applied. the hell? Yeah. 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 I'm different. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Young thug in the neighborhood, big boy big neighborhood. Boy.